Tanke Fungurumu Man in the Katanga just never fails to amaze with the aesthetics of the material which come out there. Now, first of all, let's go to the matrix. We have a, a young dolomite matrix intersected in some cases by malachite. And then uh, on top of that, we'd have this lawn of Krasakola ranging from a, a a pale well pale blue going into a in this case i don't have that uh, uh, sort of a turquoise blue core but what does seem to be happening here we have almost a crust of crassicala on top of the uh, uh, or a crust of charles sydney on top of the original crassicala this of course the the crassicala would typically be uh, uh, coated by waxy black botroids of heterogenites as we've seen on sections which are still exposed so which haven't been covered by the layer of druzy quartz and then giving you that third dimensional look through the, the crystals would be that heterogenite shining through causing that darkness uh, typically we'd also find some malachite associated here but when i look at this cross section i think we're looking at first of all chrysocola veins of Charles Sydney running through it so the the underlying botryoidal form in that section could very well be Charles Sydney or Krasakala stalagmite stalactites. Uh, from a display point of view lying flat like this also lovely patterning on the, the malachite or the Krasakala cross section have a look at that different green could be a bayildonite even that is most likely malachite on that section or for sake of ease we say malachite we can never be 100 percent sure with the material from the katanga rather complex very much like the tsumeb mine or i believe uh, i assume the uh, uh, similar uh, uh, copper deposits